Queen's Greatest Hits 1 and 2. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, oh. You're cheap. Oh. You're cheap. Oh. You're cheap. Oh. I called dibs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Open these two up. And uh, I'm going to go with this one first. Okay. <laughs> it's not empty. I can tell you that. Amen. Amen. I love it, son. Amen. That's right. Ho, ho. Hey, everybody. How are we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire here. And guess what? I'm back at this unit. I got my son on the camera. I spent how much money on this, son? $6,000. That's right. $6,000. But I didn't spend it all. I only spent half of that money because I teamed up with my buddy right here, Claire Thris. Yes, sir. So if you guys seen the first video, this unit has been awesome already. And we haven't even scratched the surface. There's nine huge totes in there. Two totes right here. Two lock boxes and stacks and stacks and stacks of comic books. Plus, who knows what's in here? BB guns? Who knows? We're going to find out. So you're going to have to watch my unboxing challenge and his unboxing challenge. You're going to have to leave in the comments who you guys think win. Who has the better lockbox? Who has the better totes? And how much money we're going to make from this unit. We're going to make our $6,000 back or are we not? So once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell, get all your notifications, and don't forget, you can buy stuff, www.secondsense.com, a lot of stuff's going to be going to auction, and you're going to have to check out Claire Thirst channel, see what he finds, he's going to go first, because I'm a gentleman, I'll let him go first, since, well, he won the unit, and I won the bill. go ahead, go ahead first, <laughs> what are you going to pick, Jesse? I'm taking that one, this one, and this stack. All right, so he's going to pick the bottom lock box, the bottom tote, and that whole stack there. So we're going to open first. Tote number one. All right, you're going to have to come to my channel. You guys are going to have to go to his channel and see what he finds. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, Claire Thrift's got some crazy things that he opened up. You guys are going to have to check out his channel. And now it's my turn. I get the scraps he left me behind. So this is my lock box. We haven't picked out our cases yet, so we'll pick those up. One thing we didn't pick out. This is my tote. And I guess, did I take the four front totes or the four back totes, Vaughn? Back. All right. So let's grab this out first. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay. We definitely have some uh, collectibles. Who knows? Photo album. Oh, look at this. Kiss. This person was in, in the KISS big time. We got a whole KISS scrapbook here. Look at this. KISS, 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 KISS. So, oh, that's not KISS, is it? Some girl band, look at it right here. And uh, so we got a whole big KISS scrapbook right here. Oh, this is cool. This Planet Wars brand and white glass are gratitude that helping to make KISS a double platinum success. That's pretty cool. Nice. So you get some kind of award for it. Oh, man, look at this. We got tons of CDs in here. Oh, <laughs> I see some money down here. I mean, uh, hopefully my totes are going to be better. You guys are going to have to look at both channels and let us know. Black Sabbath, Merciful Fate, Anthrax, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, Metallica, The Doors, Queen's Greatest Hits 1 and 2. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. Oh! You're oh! Cheap. You're cheap. Oh! You cheat! Oh! I called dibs! Oh! <laughs> oh! We'll see what's in that in a minute. We got this right here. Hey. I'm feeling better about my toad already and my uh, untoting challenge. 1999. We got the whole dog pounds here. Halloween movie maniacs. Oh, here's the things for the guys. Jesse. What? Here's for a uh, Oh, mushroom head dibs. That's for what you call it? It's mushroom head. No. <laughs> this right here is mushroom head. No, look it. It's Halloween. Oh. That's for the guy. For, oh. We found Michael Miles, Mar Miles oh, earlier. Yeah. Here's the crown. I promise you this is mushroom head. This is their band cover. Well, I, I don't know. This is Halloween. <laughs> Movie yeah. Maniacs. This goes with Jason. This goes with the crow. Remember the guys we found earlier? Yeah. Those are the guys. They, those are the stands that go behind them. Oh, yeah. That's the stands. But this right here is a... The mushroom head album thing. Mushroom head? Hey, hey. Louisville Slugger, Cleveland Stadium. 
He's gonna hit me here in a minute with that thing. Scarface? He gets all the good totes. Hey, if you haven't been watching, guys, I've been doing this a long time, so sometimes I get lucky. Carlos by Erga, they like Carlos. Man, what else is in this? Happy Holidays, Butthead? Butthead? Look at it, it looks like underwear. <laughs> oh my God, I guess I'll have to wear this one. What do you guys think? Amazing. Let's just Works hope he wasn't wearing that as a shelf or something. Hey, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh man. These are all Marvel hologram cards. Let's see what date is on here. 1992. What are those and these worth, have been, they've been going up in value, Jesse. I don't know. It's this. These can be 20, 30 bucks a piece here, maybe more. They used to be not be worth much money, but they've been going up and up in value. But I'm getting really excited because I see a bunch of cards in plastic. But before oh, we get there, oh, that is a nice belt buckle. And then Avery's all in. Stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had his reaction on tape. Storage room ninja. <laughs> he thought I was really gonna throw it. In a, Storage room ninja. Good thing my business partner's there. He likes those shining stars. But he doesn't deserve any. Oh, look at this. Browns. It's like one of those little tiny pop-up. If you can watch the game better. Man. It just keeps going, Jesse. The good thing is Jesse's happy because even if he loses the challenge, if he I still lose, wins. I win. We win. Yeah. We, we're just a, uh, can't, can't lose on this one. It looks like just like some nails, screws. we got more cards here. This looks like... Not sure. It looks like the crow. So, all these cards are worth money. Now, let's get some of these plastics. That had here. good taste. He had really good taste. These are all hologram cards Omar Vizquel, nice. Carlos Baerga, Jose Mesa, Albert Bell. And a lot of Indians players are not going to be worth tons of money, but they all have some value. But if he has these kind of cards, who knows what other kind of cards he's got in here. Oh, these are good. I'll give these oh, my son. Oh. Just start practicing. These are the rubber ones, so they don't hurt too bad oh. when you hit yourself. See? Page Mart. Jesse, I found your pager. You got my pager? Yeah, man. Man, I've been missing that thing since like 95. I sent you five 911s. Look at this. We got Troy Aikman card, Shannon Sharp. Some more Browns, some Indians cards. Watch down here. Look at this. More nunchucks. These are not practice ones. Oh! Batman! Da -na 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 Batman and Silver Surfer. Wait a second. That's not how it goes. Lady Death cards. So these are probably more Marvel cards. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, man. I'll let you pick first. Let's see. You took all the bad stuff out of my way here. I was just helping you out. Yeah, see. This is the book of sex. There you go. Oh man, I'm getting excited. I keep seeing more money stuff down here. Look at this. Darth Vader belt buckle. Broken. Or broke. <laughs> so this is your money clip. You can just carry this around. Now we're broke, huh, Jesse? Yeah, ain't got no money to put in it. Man, this guy, look at this. Skull belt buckle. So just, oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was a gold coin. Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? Well, Batman. Yep, Rob done called dibs on it's that. It's a Batman coin. That's Rob's. Look at he right doesn't here. have that in his collection. Nope, it's a bronze medallion. Everyone loves Batman. So that's actually a nice piece of glass right there. So that's probably a $20 bill right there, maybe more. It just keeps going. These look like, I better double check. I'm going to say they look like birthday cards and stuff, but you don't know what this guy. Maybe there's some money left in there. Yeah, let me see it. I'll go through it. some cash. I'm just trying to get to this right here. As I see, we got the Batman Arkham Asylum book. We have a music life book, but see, this is in Japanese or Chinese. So this might be worth a lot more money. Probably a Japanese import. Wow. Wow, wow. This is my first tote. I can't wait to see what's in my other totes. Oh, wait. We still got some. Uh, I forgot. Should I even open this up? Oh, 
Duh. You think there's anything in it? Uh, no, it's just a pillow. So you can just give it to me and I'll throw it in the garbage in my van. All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's not what we thought. We thought it was something else. We're winning the challenge now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't even know what these things are. They look like uh, for cupping or something. They're Jack Daniels. They're weird some kind of fuzzy glasses. green uh, vegetable-like substance in there. Not sure what that is. Oh, uh, that's a cute little baby. Another knife. Oh, man, we got all these cards. We got watches. We got knives. We thought we had a boom, boom, but that's the first tote. I can't wait to see what's in my next four totes. All right, everybody, so my son wants the back ones. I got to pull these out. Oh, he always makes my life a little difficult, but I still love them. Oh. Oh. All right. This one says glass. We're going to open this one first. Okay. I mean, it's lying about it. Lane line. Let's say we got some glass. Glass. Well, there's other stuff in here. Mother! To whom bears the sweetest name? You give that to your mom later. Okay. Got a little Stein. Stein, Stein, Stein. More glass. I was hoping you'd have like a, you know, bunch of like collector glasses. Like he might have some in here, you know. We'll see. First tote, eh, nothing too crazy. Tote number two. Ho, 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 I like this one better. Look how cute the baby is. No, not the baby. Oh. Look at this. Cleveland Indians. We got Elvis in the Army years. That's cool. Oh my gosh, what's this? The funny toilet guy. But that's not a guy. Oh. That's the funny toilet lady. Sound activated. Oh, feels so good. So relaxed. That's mm. just weird. <laughs> That's just weird as crack, son. That is just weird. He sees it. He calls it how he sees it, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. So, he says it's just weird. Got that. Tennis ball. Oh, that's oh. good. Tennis ball. Oh, oh, Lots of glass in here. Dolphins. We got another, we got more Elvis. These people loved Elvis. We got some pictures down here, some antique photos. And now, what else we got? We got something here. Elvis is in the building. So our first two toes, not too bad. I mean, obviously, the pooping lady, priceless. <laughs> priceless. My son loves it. All right. What else we got in here? <laughs> That's a vintage piece of goodness. So this is called a chalkware statue. And back in the day when you went to the carnival, you know how when you were at Cedar Point and they had the big snakes and stuffed yeah. animals? You used to be able to win things like this. Okay. And uh, they would have ones like this. They had Batman, Superman. All kind of things, animals. So like a kid, oh, I want the, I want the bulldog. You know. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this. We got some bobbleheads in here. Not empty. Not empty. The good thing is we don't need this for this unit. The unit ended up being a good unit. So we got some kind of baseball card down there. Oh, that's a horse. Definitely some crap. Oh, what's this? Single barrel select. Oh, if that was in there. It'd be worth some money. Empty Jack Daniels bottle. So, not the greatest totes, but. Oh, what is that? A little remote control car. Ooh, dibs. Mm. Let's see if it works. Dibs, dibs, dibs. Cool one. So, we don't know what the totes we got to go through. Can't just assume anything. It looks like we have some kind of maybe a doll or something here. Yep. Masquerade ball doll. I think this whole thing's gonna be dolls. Dolls. 
Oh, and there's some kind of cabinet down here. The whole collectibles in. Let's pull this out real quick. I don't want to assume it's all dolls. Oh, I'm saying it's all dolls. Look at this. That's cool. Got the little Hummer here. Doors open up. Just a little collectible. What else we got in here? Oh, it's another car, I think. Oh, nice. Take a look at that. The SS Camaro. Nice. Or Chevelle. Pretty cool. And this is in the bottom of the dowels. You just never know. Oh. oh, we got a convertible. There's your new car, Jesse. Nice. We got the top right there. So that's Danbury Mint. That's a good brand. Yeah, that's gonna be an uh, expensive car there. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Definitely worth a few bucks. All right, we're gonna do another tote. I'm gonna have Jesse do another tote. Ho oh, ho! Hatchet! Old school American horror movie. This guy had all kind of UFC fighting. High impact comic book. Godzilla! King of Monsters. Wrong. Ooh, what is this? That looks interesting. Punisher, jersey, Man, that thing's pretty cool, I'm going to put this thing on, I'll bet you it feel cooler when I wear it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a few looks. I might just turn into the Punisher jersey. What we got here? More photo albums. We got some collectibles in here, Jesse, look. Coca-Cola, little tin. Nice. Something's in this tent. Pictures. Coca-Cola salt and pepper That's shaker. a few bucks. Oh, it's missing the others aside. I just gotta glue that back in there. Should just snap in there, yep, right? I think it does. There we go. There's more Coca-Cola stuff. Trophy! For the best unit buying ever. I can tell there's more photos down there. Not too much. But we still got a lockbox to go through, and we each got to pick out a case there, and he's got to get another tote. My son, he thought I was crazy. Not for spending $6,000 on storage unit, <laughs> just because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I let Jesse open a couple more totes because I felt bad for him because I was winning so greatly, and now, well, now you're going to have to check out his channel because they clear thrifts. I mean, he might have just won with that tote, but I got another tote lost, so hopefully this tote will be as good as his tote. It's money in this tote. I don't know about as much as his. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at the CD collection in here. Iron Maiden, Cypress Hill, ZZ Top, Offspring, and then we got movies in here. Reservoir Dogs. I'm hoping to find some more games, because, I mean... I'm going to tell you, somebody out there found some games. I'm going to mention who, but, you know. Man, look at all this. Oops. What is this? Is this a movie down here? Oh, Lord of the Rings box set. So definitely got tons and tons of movies. Ooh, I see something that's not movies. We got the Jack Daniel here. Right here. Oh, we got more cards in here. X-Force. X Force, a Kiss limited edition preview set, Jesse. That's cool. It might be worth a few bucks. More cards. Night Watch DVD collection. What's in here? What is in this? Oh, nice. Those are pretty nice headphones. They got a weird plug on the end of them. Oh, yeah, that's a weird plug. Some high tech headphones, Jesse. High tech. High tech. High tech. So it looks like mainly it's all just CDs, DVDs. Got some cards in here. I'm going to take a quick look. I got to make sure though, because you just don't know what this guy. But yeah, it's all CDs down there. Not a bad little tote. At least $100 or so. Maybe more. But it's all adding up for sure. Now we got to each pick a bag. And I already got my lockbox. 
Question is, what am I gonna open first, the lockbox or the bag? All right, guys, we gotta figure out, we got one, two, three, four cases. But the good news is, or the bad news, is I only get to pick two, Jesse gets to pick two. He's like, hey, can't be cheating here. Come on, man, it's not Come cheating, on. it's no, investigation. No unfair advantage. <laughs> uh -uh. Pick two cases, man. Take two on the left. My left or your left? My left. Your left? Yeah. These two. All right, I get these two. So you're gonna have to check out Claire there, see what he finds, and I can't wait to see what I find. All right, I can't believe what he just found in his cases and in his lockbox. So now my turn. Open these two up. And uh, I'm gonna go with this one first. Okay. <laughs> it's not empty, I can tell you that. Amen. Amen, I love it, son. Amen, that's right. Ho, oh, ho. Man, this guy has yes. these things are such pristine condition right here. I mean, well, it looks like a marlin. It almost does, but Jesse loves marlins. That's why he wants it to be a marlin. It's a Remington 581, good. 22 long barrel. Still a good one. Still a good one. And uh, gun safety. One check the clip. It's empty. You can always check inside here. There is no bullet in the barrel and things like that and that's things you always want to look for especially when you're handling a weapon i don't want to accidentally shoot jesse but what do you think jesse pristine what kind three, of three four hundred bucks i would say so three or four hundred dollars just all depends on who wants it how bad they want it who wants it and how bad they want it and you know most of the time i sell all my stuff through auction and i always have people coming in i could go buy that thing cheaper well obviously they couldn't they, they bought it through the auction cheaper. So, but people get caught up in auctions. We got caught up in this auction a little bit ourselves. So we understand, huh, Jesse? Oh, absolutely. All right, the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, man. I already tell you, this is big money. Oh, man. This is big money right here. Wow, wow, wow. This is a Remington 30-06. This is nice. definitely a hunting rifle. 30-06 is a big, big caliber. It's a model 760 Game Master. Remington Game Master 760. But I mean, this thing is in pristine, pristine condition once again. You're going to push this here. This is going to release it. You can see how large the shells are going to go in there. And we're going to look underneath here. Okay, and we see it's not loaded. We're going to do one pump back. Okay, I can look in there. I can see there's no shell inside the barrel. It's safe to handle this gun. Very important anytime you're handling a weapon. A lot of people are like, Rob, oh, this and that. Trust me, anytime I handle a weapon, if you guys don't see in the video or not, I already know the weapon is going to be loaded, not loaded. I can feel a weapon. I've handled guns and since I was about yee high to grasshopper. <laughs> when I was, I think, 10 or 11 years old, I took my gun safety class for hunting. I got the highest score in the class out of 80 people. And I was like 10 or 11. There's guys in there 60, 70 years old. I got the highest score. Okay. So that's what I do. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Jesse, rough guesstimate with the scope. Let's see what kind of scope we got in here. It's a Bushnell Sport Bushnell, View. Bushnell, 7, 750. So these two guns here, easily $1,000. Easily. And uh, Jesse's two guns, well, you're going to have to look at his video, see how much those are. And I still got my lockbox here, but man. The money's starting to add up. We didn't even touch it. The biggest collection in the whole locker is actually the comic books, which is probably all the money in the unit. All this other stuff is secondary, as dumb as that sounds. But let's go ahead and look at our lock box. You ready, Bob? Yeah. Wow. Drop I saw it. how Jesse opened his. Just drop it. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. Oh. Uh, ho, ho! Huh. It works. Safe server. Yeah. So these are fireproof safes, ladies and gentlemen. They're only meant to be. Oh, man. I don't know. There's a lot of paperwork in here, but there might be something good in here, Jesse. This could just be all checks. I'm gonna write you a check today for my half of the unit, Jesse. Oh man. Um, you I better cash it quick. Cash and carry. Sorry, buddy. I'm writing you a check today. Oh man. But you know what? I'm gonna pay the whole unit with the check. I'll give you the whole six grand for the. Ch you know what? What'd you want for unit? Twelve thousand. You said eight bucks. <laughs> you sold twelve five. I'll give you the twelve five, and you don't even have to worry about the unit anymore, Jesse. Hope this check doesn't bounce though. So we gotta check these wallets in here. So you never know what you're gonna have finding the lockbox. 
You know, we'll have to go through everything here. I mean, here's some one cent stamps. Hey, they're a penny a piece. I don't want to hear it. So. Zenith. Access reports for managed funds. Make sure there's nothing on the bottom here. So it looks like this one's just all paperwork. But man, what a great, great unit. We still have all these comics to go through. We still got a couple boxes to go through, so we'll see what else we can find. Man, unbelievable. Fishing poles. We didn't look at the fishing poles. Usually we're excited about fishing poles this year, we didn't care. We definitely have this bow surround up here. System. I just want to take a look at a few of these boxes of comic books. See what we got. We got some pennies in here, Jesse. Uh oh. Drunk and rich. These speed just probably be a couple hundred bucks. What's in the coffee? Oh! What the heck? Oh, at first I saw this box, I thought it was Avon jewelry, but it's just Christmas stuff. Man, you gotta find a little Christmas stuff, a little adult material. Every every storage unit you get. Oh my gosh. This whole thing is. Comic books. Rob's in comic book heaven. Batman. Fate. You know, and these it's ones like Wolverine. And then uh right here's Kiss. The second coming. Looks like a tour book thing. Yep, 96, 97 tour. Put that with a tour shirt. Here's X uh, Kiss comic number one, two, three. I'm surprised he doesn't have these bags and board to be honest with you, but <clears throat> maybe just ran out of time he had. Bag and boarded, Ghost Rider, Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number four. If this is the first printing, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Jesse wanted to see what was in this box. So we have a bunch of DVDs, more DVDs. Yeah, it's all DVDs. I was hoping to have more games. Interesting. You would think we would find a game system or something, you know? All right, I just want to look, open a couple boxes of comics, just kind of see what's in here. Kind of get an idea with what we got. It's just, who knows? Predator, Hellstorm, Spirits of Venom. Spirits of Vengeance. Like he has them like in order here. Like here's the rise of the Midnight Sun Morbius, number one, number ten, all the way through. So he's definitely a a completist mega collector. I mean, he's a lot of newer books. They're gonna have some value. This says DC on there. So these might all be like Batman and stuff like that. We'll see what he's got. Death me, that's not DC books. All right, we got Colony Aliens, number one, Alien. So, like I said, it looks like most of his comic books, he's got like the first one and then all the way through, which is good because you can sell them in complete sets like that. This is a long box right here. And who knows? Oh, this is excellent. It turns the one way. X-Men Unlimited number one, number two, Avengers, Avengers. So we got X-Men, Avengers, X-Men, X-Men, X-Men. So this whole thing is X-Men. Ooh, I saw some older X-Men here. Oh, that's a good sign. How, how far back do we go? 76. All right, right here could be some big money. So we got number 76, and then we got 112. Some of these could be getting some key books in here. 121, 122, look at this, 134. That's the first Black Phoenix, I think. Yep, so that right there is a hundred some dollar comic book. And it just goes on. This is a good one right here. This is the beginning of Days Past. So 
That's probably another 50 some dollar book. Wow, wow, wow. So, I mean, we have this, this is just all X-Men. So who knows what we're gonna have, probably all Spider-Man, all Batman, all. It's just gonna be money, money, money. Each of these boxes, I'm gonna say minimum, minimum, probably around 500 bucks a box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So right there is $5,500 plus these two boxes, probably about 6,000 low end in comic books. Plus everything else we got, we're gonna make money, money, money on this unit. So this unit was amazing, amazing. Six thousand some dollars. I split it with um, Claire Thirst. You're gonna have to look at his channel, see what he found. But between the rifles, the comic books, the other collectibles, I mean, I have no clue what the total of this unit is. I would say easily, easily, we're at ten thousand dollars on the very, very low end. But I'm going to assume it's going to go way past that. Maybe $20,000. Depends on this comic book collection. Don't underestimate comics. I've had comic book auctions, $20,000, $50,000 comic book auctions. So appreciate every one of you guys out there watching. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Check out all the other videos. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.